fail. Hajime mashite. Boku wa kashu pol des. Dozo roshku onigashimasu. No, this is not the PBS channel. This is Cashew Paul's Adventure Channel. And today's adventure, we go to Walnut Hills, Ohio, to the Lucky Cat Museum. Artist Misha Robertson has created a Lucky Cat Museum. It's the only one in the country. In fact, it's the only one in the world with the exception of one in Japan. So let's check it out. Our story starts here. Lucky Cats are also known as Maneki Nekos. And according to legend, a merchant was traveling in a rainstorm and took shelter under a tree. About that time, a cat came out of a Buddhist temple and motioned for the merchant to approach by doing this. When the merchant approached, lightning hit the tree and it would have killed the merchant had he stood there. So when he realized that the cat had saved his life, he built a temple honoring the cat, hence the Maneki Neko. We're going in the right direction. And look what I found along the way. A radio made out of baseball bats. Okay, let's go in. Wow, this place is incredible. Come for the cats, stay for the pie. And this is when the curator got to meet some of the puppeteers with the Jim Henson Company. And the museum has made the cover of Secret Cincinnati. Photobombed. They also have a couple of free play Maneki Neko slot machines if you want to try your luck. Daruma slash Dharma dolls. The roly poly Daruma is a symbol of perseverance modeled after Bodhidharma, creator of Zen Buddhism. When purchased, the eyes are white. One eye is painted when a goal is set, the other upon achievement. And this is a Maneki Neko Geisha that the curator created herself. Very nice. And this is one of her works in progress. Here's what the finished product will look like. And an artist made a sculpture of Misha's cat to look like a Maneki Neko. <laughs> Rather than being mass-produced, some of these have been created individually by artists. And here are some of the print examples of the Neki Nekos in the museum. It's really cool to see whimsical variations of a Maneki Neko. We have Puss in Boots, Top Cat, 
and Cat in the Hat. And let's not forget the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. And here's the Day of the Dead, Maneki Neko. Here's Winnie the Pooh dressed up as a Maneki Neko. Some tiny Hello Kitty lucky cats in the mix. Mario. Here's a collection of samurai lucky cats. Oh, and look at this. They have Lego Maneki Nekos. This is probably my favorite part of the museum. It has designer art toys in the shape of lucky cats. I love these Godzilla inspired lucky cats. Look at this one, this one's skeletonized. And Godzilla himself is making an appearance. There is so much cool stuff to see here. And here are some teapots and teacups with the Lucky Cat symbol on it.
when the right paw is raised, it means success with money. With the left paw raised, it means success with customers. And when both paws are raised, it means success in general. And this is the earliest known image of a Maneki Neko in art from 1852. And here's a close-up of the image. says, place a penny in my donation box and I will talk to you. You can't hide, Mario. I see you. Even the gift shop has some awesome items. Start your own museum. That was outstanding. Definitely my favorite museum I've ever seen. Maybe at the very least the top two. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Definitely a hidden gem in Walnut Hills. Hey, Cashew in Walnut Hills. How nutty. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That'll let you know when I have new videos out. If you want to join the Cashew Club, I'll have a link at the end of the video. If you love cats, come here. It's a great museum. If you love Maneki Nekos, definitely come here. It's a great museum. If you love Japanese culture, come here. It's a great museum. If you don't like any of that stuff, come here anyway. You'll learn something. So until next time, this is Cashew signing off.